inflect the point 3 comma 0 over the line y equals 2x. There's a lot of steps involved, but I'm going to show you how to work with this. So the first thing is, let's go ahead and graph the line y equals 2x. So you're going rise 2, run 1. Okay, the y-intercept is 0. Uh, rise 2, run 1. Okay, and this is our line. Okay, but our point 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, is right there, 3, 0. So what we want to do is we want to fold it over this line, reflect it over this line, and find the co new coordinates, okay, of the image point. So the way we're going to do this is, first we're going to find out the slope of this line, which we know is 2, y equals mx plus b, this is the slope. But the opposite reciprocal slope, okay, the perpendicular slope is going to be negative 1 half. So I just flipped the 2 over and made it the opposite sign. So what's going to happen when you reflect a point over a line, you want the shortest distance uh, to that line, and you go the same distance on the other side. So what we need to do is we need to write an equation of a line that's going to be perpendicular to this line y equals 2x. So we know the slope's negative 1 half. We know it goes through the point 3, 0. So let's go ahead and use our point slope form of the equation of a line. So this is going to be y minus 0, okay, equals negative 1 half times x minus 3. Uh, y minus 0 is just y, and if we distribute the negative 1 half, we get negative 1 half x uh, plus 3 halves. So that's the equation of this line here. So it basically, let's see, it has a, um, a slope of negative 1 half. It has a y-intercept of uh, 1.5 right here. So you can see that this is going to look something like, like this, right? But now what we want to do is we want to find out where do these two lines intersect? Where do they cross? And so what we're going to do is we're going to solve a system of equations. We've got y equals 2x and y equals negative 1 half x plus 3 halves. We can do a substitution since y equals 2x. Let's put that in place of y. And then what we'll do is we'll solve for x. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear the fractions by multiplying everything by 2. So this is going to be 4x equals negative x plus 3. So multiplying everything by 2 to clear the denominators. Now if we add x to this side, we get 5x equals 3. Divide both sides by 5. And you can see that x is equal to 3 fifths. If we put it back in to either one of these equations, I'll just put it into this one, 2 times 3 fifths is 6 fifths. So we can see that these two lines are crossing at 3 fifths uh, comma 6 fifths right there. So let's go ahead and write that down. 3 fifths comma 6 fifths. But now what you can realize is that when you're folding this point over this line or reflecting it over the line, we know it has to be perpendicular. We also know it has to be the same distance on the other side. So what that means then is that this point right here is the midpoint. Okay, so what we can do now is we can use our midpoint formula. Remember, midpoint is the average of the x's, okay, and the average of the y's. So you add the x's together, divide by 2, add the y's together, divide by 2. The point's going to be somewhere over here. I'm just going to put a generic location. Let's just call this x, y. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take these x coordinates, x and 3. So x plus 3 divided by 2. So for finding the midpoint, that midpoint is going to equal 3 fifths. We're also going to do the same thing for the y's. y plus 0 divided by 2 is going to give us the y coordinate, which is 6 fifths. Okay, so now if we solve these two equations, we can do some cross multiplying here. Uh, let's see, 2 times 3 is 6. And 5 times x plus 3 is 5x plus 15. Subtract 15, that's going to give us negative 9. <clears throat> and then if we divide both sides by 5, we get x equals negative 9 fifths. Over here, if we, let's see, y plus 0 is just y. If we multiply both sides by 2, you can see that y is going to equal 12 fifths. And so what we've got here is negative 9 fifths comma 12 fifths is the location of this reflected point. Let's see if we're pretty accurate here. So this is like negative 1 and 4 fifths. 12 fifths is like a 2 and 2 fifths. Yeah, pretty accurate. So that's the uh, image point when you reflect it over the line. So if you like the way that I explain things, you enjoy my videos, you might be interested in checking out my video courses. Uh, right down there, I've got a link to my Algebra 1 video course, Algebra 2, ACT math, SAT math to help you in your classes or with these specialized exams. I'll see you in those courses and I'll talk to you soon.